Tonight, the two former protégés of the fabulous Lana Starr, Amber O'Neill and The Lioness, who have both shared the respective humiliation at the whim of Lana Starr, will join forces. You're fired! Fired? What? You can't fire me! Lana Starr just slipped her beer in and she told, she told The Lioness to hit her with the beer and The Lioness did not! Super kick! The Super Lioness kick! did not want to take the beer and get the victory! To teach Lana and her new protege, wrestling veteran, and interestingly enough, the former tag team partner of Amber O'Neill, Chrissy Bain, a lesson about honesty and respect. We must wonder, by agreeing to tag with the Lioness, will Amber O'Neill finally close the book on her Hollywood dreams that Lana Starr so masterfully sold her? And will Amber find redemption against Chrissy Bain for walking out on her years ago to seek fame and fortune in the WWE? This tag team match has feud written all over it. Upset that her alliance with the world's greatest attorney, Sofia Lopez, did not work out, the born legend Tessa Blanchard fired Sofia Lopez. I just want you to know you're fired. I think I'm gonna cry. Only to learn that her agreement provided that she would need to wrestle one last time under the auspices of the world's greatest attorney, hand-picked opponent, Venomous. And after battling the toxic Venomous and taking her out, she shot his hands her in the head. Tessa was sure she would get her shot tonight against the Beast. But no. Jeff McGowan saw the punch with the fistful of quarters and disqualified Tessa. You're darn right! The DQ resulted in Sofia Lopez being able to demonstrate how she has everything covered. And yes, you guessed it right, the world's greatest attorney covered all her bases. For tonight, the Beast defends her world championship against Venomous. Welcome to WOW Women of Wrestling! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. to the ring by her trainees Genesis and Exodus from Osaka, Japan, Moleo Osaka! And she's accompanied Mr. Dickey by her trainees. That's right, Exodus and Genesis. Now let's not forget the last time we saw Malaya Osaka, she was the victim of her own medicine from fire and adrenaline. As adrenaline snuck into the ring and hit Malaya with a crutch, that brought a big, big smile to my face because adrenaline and fire used their brains, not just their might, and they won and took a victory there. That was really special. This is the opening match of our hour of power fans. Wow is here, the greatest wrestling show on television. The veteran in the ring, Malaya Hasaka, and there's Exodus, and there's Genesis, and here is Shaw Guerrero. And her opponent. seeing Malaya Hosaka come across my screen, but who doesn't love seeing Chantilly Chella? She brings the party, she brings the life, she brings the music, she brings a good time and fun wherever she goes. Now fans, the enthusiasm you just heard from Mr. Dickey, he doesn't know that I know, but I know that you asked our executive producer, Jason Vaughn, for the lyrics for this and the beat, and he downloaded it for you on a drive, and so I know from your wife that you play this in your bedroom. <laughs> At night. And here we go! I love this! I love it! This beautiful cape of Chantilly Jella! I love it! Let me keep it! Let me keep it one night! I love it! David, you're not wrong. I do have that song constantly going on my Apple Music. Uh, in your bedroom, your wife told me. Here we go, fans! <laughs> We're underway with the opening match. Chantilly Jella here with Malaya Hosaka. Now, David, and I just mean that because she's told me you dance in front of the mirror. Oh, of course, That's who all. doesn't? You're That's trying, a great song. Well, you're trying to learn the steps. I am. Here we go. The 
lack of dancing ability I've got, David. I'm I, trying. I know it. You got that disease, they say. But anyway, <laughs> let's watch the action right now. I got the rock and pneumonia and the boogie woogie <laughs> flu. <laughs> boogie woogie. That's like Jimmy Valiant. <laughs> Jimmy Valiant and Jerry Lawler, those big feuds down there in Memphis for years. I loved them. Here we go. Chantilly Chilla wrenching on the left arm of Malaya Hasaka. Absolutely. Now, David. One thing I wanted to point out is many people don't know this, but a while back, Malaya Osaka and Chantilly Chella actually fought under a WOW sanctioned event. The event did not go to Chantilly Chella's liking, but this is a chance at retribution. Chantilly Chella's had a lot more battles here in WOW since the last time Malaya Osaka graced her presence. Well, what I like about WOW is we've got a 30-year-old veteran here. We've got the lioness in the ring, and the lioness only being something, what, 19 years old? We've got can't all even ages. can't drink yet, David. Uh, well, we know you can. <laughs> so anyway, fans, here we go. We've got them all featured right here in WOW every week. So make sure you go to WOW Superheroes. Plug in to our social means and plug in to the WOW world, WOWE.com. There you go, Malaya grabbing that face and taking Chantilly over. Now she did that underhanded tactic, but she turned it into a cover, David. Wise maneuver by the veteran competitor here. Look at that chop, chop, chop by Malaya. Malaya from Japan. Beautiful strike work by Malaya. She learned those strikes over in Japan too, might I add. Yes, Malaya Hasaka once even fought a series of battles with the WOW trainer, Selena Majors, who runs the WOW training school in Long Beach, California. Now Malaya Hosaka is the trainer of Exodus and Genesis, who so you see there at ringside. The tutelage of Malaya Hosaka. Oh, look at that drop kick getting air! Here, that's what Chantilly Chella does best. It's like an EDM mega mix. You don't know where the sound, the bass, the treble, any of it's coming from. You don't know where Chantilly Chella is coming from, David. Well, she's in the center of the ring, taking over on Malaya right now. Into the corner goes Malaya. Chantilly Chella going for that knee, but oh, Malaya Hosaka had it well scouted with that hesitated, spinning heel kick. Hesitated for a second. That spinning back kick right into the face of Chantilly Chella. Exile on the outside, cheering on their coach, their trainer, their inspiration, Malaya Hasaka. Malaya Hasaka has got the lock, got this hold locked in on Chantilly Chella. We talk about that mark. We always mention it since the Beast arrived on WOW. See the mark, making their mark. Well, Venomous has made her mark in WOW. The Beast has made a mark, and so is Exile with Malaya Hasaka. And speaking of Venomous and Beast, they're the main event today on WOW. What a main event, David. I cannot wait. I am anticipating that main event more than I've ever anticipated any main event here well, on this Hour of Power. Fans may be surprised why Venomous is getting it. She's getting it because Tessa Blanchard used those quarters to get... Well, she got disqualified. I was going to say a victory, but Venomous won the match because of disqualification. Tessa Blanchard using those quarters like her dad. You saw it in our last episode of WOW. She's getting the shot now, Venomous, for the title. She's come here and she's made her mark. We'll see how big of a mark tonight in the main event. Right there, you see Malaya stretching back. She's choking Chantilly Chella. She's choking her, and the referee's distracted by Exodus and Genesis. Referee Benjamin needs a quick getting distracted by these two. Well, this match could go on forever, David. Well, right now, Malaya's in the middle, taking advantage, pulling up Chantilly Cheller, taking her to the right turnbuckle and tossing her across the bat. She threw her across the ring the way, same way DeMarcus Cousins throws the basketball right through the hoop. Look at this, Genesis, Genesis has her. She's choking, she's choking Chantilly Chella. And there's Exodus throwing those punches, Exodus throwing punches as, as Genesis held the neck and, the, and was choking her across the bottom rope. Malaya takes the opportunity. Fans, it's all a plan of Malaya. She's trained Exodus and Genesis very well. This is a well-oiled threesome right here. Cross body by Chantilly Cello only led to a two count. Here she goes. Head scissor takedown. Malaya's down. Malaya's down. I don't think she anticipated this fight. But she's up and there's another drop, drop kick. kick. Drop Chantilly Cello giving us the two. drop kicks tonight. She's giving us the drop kicks. I think Anthony Davis would be proud of the air she got on that drop kick there, yes, David. Yes, indeed. Now Malaya just choking the life out of Chantilly Cello here. Every good song has come to an end, and Chantilly Cello seems to be fading fast here. She's trying to maneuver out. She's trying to maneuver. Malaya oh, driving Osaka. the head right into the mat. Again, again, and again. Oh, boy, the head nose. Head being driven into the mat She's there. She's checking if the nose was bleeding there. The Unorthodox hit. offense by the veteran. You don't survive 32 years in this business without some kind of unorthodox, unique maneuvers, David. 
No, you don't. And Malaya Hasaka knows all the maneuvers. She's forgotten more maneuvers than the newcomers remember. Absolutely. Malaya, Malaya went for a crossbody. Missed that. Chantilly underneath. That gives Chantilly the opening she needs. Kick to the feet, kick to the legs. Another kick. Chantilly Chella on the move. Oh, right up into the jaw of Malaya Hasaka. And now a right hook with that right leg. That was a Kawada kick there, made famous by Japanese legend Kawada. I love your history, Mr. Dickey. Here we go, knee into the corner. She was looking for it earlier, couldn't find it. Now she finds it. Throwing Malaya down to the mat. Chantilly Chella pounding the turnbuckle. Look at Genesis and Exodus stalking on the outside like a predator to the prey. Chantilly Chella going up high. She's going up high. Benjamin's right there checking. Look at that! Look at that! Exile and Genesis tossed her off the third row. Exile and Genesis are in Genesis. the Genesis. Benjamin's being held by Malaya. Distracted. The two Exile members are picking up Chantilly. They got her and they jam her right into the purple mat. Double oh. nail in the coffin suplex, David. Chantilly's down and she ain't getting up. Not right now, baby. One, One two. two. Three. Three! The veteran Malaya Hasaka gets a victory at the Here's help of her trainees! Malaya Hosaka! Now in these highlights, Steven, you see Ben Scheinberg is distracted by Malaya, and that's when Genesis and Exodus took over. And they overwhelm Chantilly Chilla, and Malaya gets the pin. And there they are! Malaya Hasaka! Exodus! and Genesis Team Exile. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, the Temptress fighting Steffi Slays here as we continue the Hour of Power on WOW Women of Wrestling. Stay tuned. In the main event, The Beast. Stay tuned. Congrats. Y'all could all day. Have fun. Gonna get a have fun? Me too. Come on. In our last episode of WOW, we witnessed the hijinks of the Dixie Darlings, Jolyn and Jolene, when they lifted the Tag Team Championship belt right out from under fire and adrenaline. Now that was a fun prank. But David, not for our champions. All right, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Here, looks great. Thank you. All right. Got my bandana. Got my tape. All right, where's the belts? Don't you have the belts? No, last they were by your makeup last time I saw them. Like, right? But they're not in they're here. They're not by my bag. Look in your bag. I'm, I'm, I'm looking in my bag, and there's a banana, but I don't see any. Excuse me, Raina, oh, have no. you seen our tag belts anywhere? Uh, nope. Sorry. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you not sitting on them? You Have you... Maybe you moved them to sit down, nothing? No, girl. No? Oh my God, Jay was gonna be pissed. <sighs> come on, come on, we gotta find them. They're okay. somewhere All around right. here. They're somewhere around here. This. What? Take dinner at this. <laughs> it's a peace offering. We're taking your boots. Check it out. Where did you get those? You stole them, of course. Shh. Like a gift. <laughs> it was this act by the exile leader, Malaya Hosaka, that caused Steffi Slays to seek revenge for her friend and tag team partner, Kita Rock. Malaya's in! Malaya's got Kita's leg! Malaya Hosaka's got Kita's leg! Exile has been disqualified! Tonight, Steffi Slays takes up for her friend again when she battles the Temptress for this beatdown delivered by her and the dagger on Kita some time ago. There it is, black and white. Stay tuned, it's Steffi Slays versus the Temptress next on WAP. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by the dagger. David, the last time we saw the Temptress and the Dagger, they were defeated handedly by the Beast, the current world champion. First, she defeated the Temptress, and then the Dagger stuck her nose where it didn't belong, and she got defeated by the world champion. A first that we've never seen before, the champion defending her title twice in one night against various tag team partners. Well, the Beast did a heck of a job that evening, and she's in the main event tonight, though, against the big competitor, Venomous. Venomous versus Beast, the main event tonight. Right now, there you see the signature removal of the dagger cape. 
And here comes the temptress. With that whip, David, be careful. That whip is long enough. It might strike us here at the table. I would be shoving you in front of me before it could touch me. <laughs> a willing sacrifice, I see. I, like I know it. it. You're younger than me. You can take it. <laughs> a whip like that's too much for my heart. Uh, too much for any of us, David. I can't take it anymore. Steffi Slay's fighting the temptress here tonight. The dagger will be on the outside. And I can't wait. Steffi Slay's the perennial fan favorite here in WOW Women of Wrestling. Steffi Slay's is going to have her hands full the last time we saw her. Steffi Slay's got the victory. And her opponent. From Dallas, Texas, Steffi Slay's. Steffi Slay's is the social media queen, David. She's always on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. You name it, she's on it. She is always engaging with the fans. That's why they love her, David. That's why she's the fan favorite. That's why she reigns supreme over all others in social media. Well, one half of the Bully Busters with Keita Rush is still recovering that leg injury at the hands of Alea Hasaka. Steffi's taking on the role of an independent wrestler and wrestling now in WOW as a singles competitor. And she's got her hands full with the Temptress tonight. Dagger on the outside, anything can happen, and we are underway. The Temptress and Steffi Slays here, both battle-tested warriors here in the ranks of WOW. Steffi Slays got a victory in her last contest. The Temptress suffered a defeat at the hands of the world champion. These two want to get into world title contention. Like you said earlier, Steffi Slays is now a singles competitor, David. Now she's, she's pursued the tag team titles. Now she's on her own. She's got to pursue that world championship of WOW. She's, she's tried to go for silver. Now she's trying to go for the gold. All right there, nice takeover. Steffi Slays and the Temptress squaring up here. Steffi's got the Temptress. Little battle of wills here. Steffi Slays with the wrist lock. The Temptress fighting out of it. Temptress Taking again. Taking her back, Steven, into the turnbuckles. We've seen here the Temptress usually has a size advantage here over most opponents. And Steffi Slays usually has a size disadvantage over most opponents. So both fighting in familiar positions here. But Steffi Slays picked up there. But look at that arm drag on the Temptress. Steffi Slays going into the Temptress up on top of her! Bucky Bucky flip. Flip. Harmony again, Mr. Dickey. There we go. I love it. Sympathetic. We're like Justin Timberlake and J.C. Chazé. Man, if you could only dance now. I know, right? I know you're I'm practicing. I know it. you're I'm practicing. Your wife told me. I, I told practice you in the yeah. mirror every day. I know it. <laughs> the Temptress had to go out on the outside and regroup. Steffi Slays, the fair competitor here, allowed her to catch her breath because that allowed Steffi Slays to catch her breath. Yes. I'm going to have Nigel share and send you those videos of when we had a dance party. You were in Indianapolis. We were in L.A. I'm going to send you some moves. Hey, I saw some pictures of you guys. Your mixtape cover looks delightful. Oh, it was, baby. <laughs> Back into the ring, Temptress fans. has Steffi Slays trying to throw her against the ropes here. Steffi Slays hopping over the Temptress. Temptress going for a hip Ooh, toss. did you see that? Steffi Slays flipped inside out, David. Well, what was great was that was a true hip toss. She drove the hip right into Steffi Slays and then locked the arm and boom, flipped her right over. Very scientific, David. You've seen a lot of hip tosses here today. From the bruiser to Steffi Slays, you've seen them all. Well, the best hip tosses in my day were Wilbur Snyder's. Oh, right now, Wilbur there you Snyder. go, Mr. Scientific. That's all right. Here we go, Temptress reversing. Steffi Slays went for that monkey flip, and then she kicks Temptress's arm. Steffi Slays up, cross body, Temptress is down, one, two, and a kick out. Dagger disapproves of two Steffi count. Slay's advantage in this match so far. Steffi Slay's got hit there by the Temptress. Temptress fighting back in this one the only way she knows how, and that's underhanded. Temptress, Temptress scooping her up. Going for that tilt to world backbreaker. Oh, Steven, famous. Steven. That backbreaker's painful to watch. Of course, that, that backbreaker made famous by the one and only Sheamus. The Temptress giving a thumbs down to these fans and they give it right back to her. The no. Temptress does not care about the adulation of these fans as she's proven time and time again as she takes on their fan favorites like Steffi Slays. Dagger liked it, she's on the outside. She's holding that whip, by the way. I hope that's not meaning. I hate to say something, but I hope she doesn't get into the ring with that whip against no. Steffi. Hopefully she doesn't get involved in this and use that as a weapon. We've seen that time and time again, especially with these battles between the Psycho Sisters, Holiday, the Voodoo Doll, Princess Aussie. Princess Aussie, I'm so disappointed. She is under the reign of Voodoo Doll. She has just completely changed her personality since coming in with the, her homage to her 
upbringing in Australia. It's just sad to see. And David, as I understand, later we'll have an update on Princess Ozzy as that after that vile chemical attack, as she had the chemical sprayed in her face, that green mist. We still don't know what happened to Princess Ozzy. I thought it was going to be mace, and then we looked at it, and the green came out, and clearly it was paint. I mean, you could smell it here at the announce table, David. It was absolutely putrid. And thank heavens it wasn't the mace, but the paint, I mean, in her eyes. I mean, they were flushing those oh, eyes. Oh, there you see it, what David. Happened? There you see it. There you see it. There's the whip. The whip coming into play like we talked about. Dagger choking Steffi Slays. Tempter's taking advantage here. One, two. I thought that was three. Steffi Slays, part of a fighting, part of a fighting champion, although she's never had gold here in a while just yet. No, back to Princess Aussie. They were rinsing those eyes for hours, Stephen. Hours after that branch and attack on her. Absolutely, David. I mean, we had the medical crew standing by. As you see, we always have an ambulance standing by, like we saw with Santana Garrett many years ago. Princess Ozzy taking to a local medical facility here in L.A., getting checked on. Again, we will have an update shortly on Princess Ozzy as Steffi Slays goes for the near fall. Well, Steffi Slays is taking it to the Temptress right now. Reversal by the Temptress. Steffi into the ropes, and the dagger pulls her feet right from under her. Referee Eddie Furt warning her. Snap suplex by the Temptress. Referee Eddie Firth has to regain control here. The dagger has been a factor if I've ever seen one, David. Steffi Slays is down. Temptress taking firm control here with another chin lock. Steffi Slays needs to fight out of this if she has any hope of winning this match and getting into singles competition here. Her singles career is off to a good start so far. Now she needs to keep it going here against the Temptress. She's got to keep that momentum going, David. Yes, indeed. There was a while there where Steffi Slays never had a victory, and she got her first one, I believe, against Disciplinarian. That's right. And but Samantha Smart tried to crack that rule over the back of Steffi Slays. I say try, but she succeeded. She did it. That's right. Put a big welt on the back of her. Luckily, it didn't need stitches, and there the Temptress whipped Steffi Slays back back onto the mat. Referee Eddie first got to watch these two here. I mean the Temptress and Dagger that is. These two have been underhanded tactics galore here in this contest. Temptress slowly bringing Jawbreaker. up Steffi. Jawbreaker. Steffi. Steffi's back in this one. Temptress stuck, went for the clothesline. Steffi ducked it. Forearm smash. Steffi's fighting back. That indomitable spirit we keep talking about with Steffi Slays. Up, up, and down. Scissor. Goes the Temptress. That's a, that's a move she learned from Keita Rush, David. Steffi goes for the backslide pin. One, two. Temptress fought out of it. Steffi Slays thought that was going to be a three count, but Temptress was able to slither out of it. Good word. I thought she slid, not fought, but you're right. Oh, the whip! Temptress has the, the whip. whip! The Rip whip! Distracted. Dagger's There's the dagger. got her! Dagger's got Steffi! She's holding her! And then Temptress goes! Steffi moves out of the way! She the hits Dagger! Dagger, kick dagger, dagger on the One, outside! Two, three, Steffi Slays! And Steffi gets the victory! There we go! go. Steffi Slays for getting the victory in this one, David. What an impressive win. And there you saw the highlight. The bicycle kick into the dagger meant for Steffi Slays. Steffi Slays rolled her up. And Temptress losing this one. Steffi Slays the victor. Coming up, fans. The fabulous Lana Star brings Chrissy Bain to the ring in a tag team match against the Lioness. And yes, Amber O'Neill. This is going to be a battle we won't want to miss. Stay tuned, fans, for a while. We're coming back in a moment. So y'all stole the tag belts to make up for stealing my boots? Seemed like a good idea. Sure did. Definitely gives me a good idea. What kind of idea? You just don't worry your pretty little head about that, darling. You see, ladies, now we have an angle for a title shot. And if you listen to me, those belts are as good as ours. I like the sound of that. Sounds good. Dreams can be treacherous. Amber O'Neill learned this difficult lesson when she aligned herself with the fabulous Lana Stark. Always one to maintain relevance, Lana Starr took Amber O'Neill in as an ally. Lana made Amber prove her loyalty by removing all elements of her identity. Lana christened this new Amber O'Neill as the Beverly Hills Babe. Amber traded in dirt bikes for Botox, the great outdoors for a life of extravagance, and she traded in all her loved ones for the allegiance of one person, Lana Starr. 
Amber awoke from this dream when Lana Stark kicked her to the curb for a younger, fresher competitor, the Lioness. If you can beat her, you can be my partner and continue your life as my protege. But if you lose, then you're cut. That's the harsh reality of Hollywood. The Lioness. Here we go. Here we go. She needs to make the cover. Make the cover. While the bait was focused on Lana Star, the Lioness smartly yeah. reversed the pin. The Lioness just defeated the Beverly. Amber felt dejected. She was beside herself. She couldn't believe that Lana Starr had thrown her aside, just like every single person that had ever trusted the fabulous one. The lioness also had to learn a difficult lesson with Lana Starr. After refusing to employ the less than savory tactics of Lana Starr, the lioness was also discarded. Never one without a plan, though, Lana Starr found a way to remain in the spotlight and to draw the ire of her former associates. The Fabulous One sought help from ring veteran Chrissy Vane. Chrissy Vane not only represents everything Lana admires, she also has a history with Amber O'Neill. Chrissy Vane and Amber O'Neill traveled the Mid-Atlantic area for years as Team Blondage, asserting themselves as one of the most dominant tag teams in wrestling until Chrissy left Amber for what seemed to be greater fame and fortune. After being treated unfairly by Lana Starr, the Lioness seeks the help of an unlikely partner in Amber O'Neill. Will the ghosts of Lana's past haunt her in the ring forever? Or can she exercise them from her life once and for all? Hey! <laughs> I cannot wait for tonight. I can't believe that little brat got that little Billy to be her partner. But I can't wait to win. I know, we are gonna be the best yeah. like always. Okay, let's, go. Okay, let's end this. <laughs> David, I'm no fashionista, but check out this ring gear. It's the signature pink of Lana Star. But then you got some racing stripes there. The checkered flag that we see in Greensboro, North Carolina is racing country, David. But what you don't realize, Mr. Dickey, but maybe you do if you go to the internet and check it out, they're wearing the exact same outfits that Chrissy Bain and Amber O'Neill started their careers in. Amber O'Neill and Chrissy Bain were partners some 20 years ago, and this is a psychological torture for Amber O'Neill when she comes out and sees this, that Lana Starr is the partner with her former partner, and they're dressed identically alike. This is what's gonna drive Amber O'Neill crazy. And she doesn't know this. They came out of the other locker rooms. No one's seen them tonight. Unbelievable, David. These tactics by Lana Starr to get in the head of Amber O'Neill. Why can't she just put Amber O'Neill in the past, David? Why can't she put her in the rear view mirror? Because she holds a grudge against her. Unreal. And their opponents. Making their tag team debut from Los Angeles, California, and North Carolina. The team of the Lioness and Amber O'Neill. David, to steal a line from Power Man 5000, this is what it sounds like when worlds collide. Look at these two. Amber O'Neill from North Carolina, Faith the Lioness, the Hollywood starlet. And the music is back. Let's flex. Let's we flex. flex. Where are the dancers, David? I'm ready to go. I've been taking my dancing lessons. I know it, and I hope the lioness brings them back. Now Amber O'Neill's got to get her head in the game. Amber O'Neill's got to get that head in the game tonight. She is upset, though. You can see it when she saw those pink gear of Lana and Chrissy. Finally, David, we get to see Amber O'Neill lock up with Lana Starr. Oh, oh, come on. 
David. But here you go, fans. This is history in the making. In moments, Chrissy Bain's gonna lock up against Amber. Amber won't do it. Amber won't wrestle Chrissy Bain. Amber's not gonna do it. She's put the lioness in there. She won't fight her old partner and friend, Chrissy Bain, who's turned on her by going with Lana Starr. Lioness driving Chrissy Bain back into the corner. The lioness with a new spirit in her because she's away from the fabulous one. Well, David, the key word here is history. And let's not forget the history between Chrissy Bain and the lioness. The lioness had a mirror smashed over her head by Chrissy Bain not too long ago. That's what spelled the end of Lana's relationship with the lioness, however short-lived it might have been. And now Chrissy Bain is getting punishment from the lioness who wants to seek retribution for that mirror smashing over her head. You're right. Lana Starr wanted and then so did Chrissy Bain for the mirror to be used by the lioness on their opponents. The lioness didn't want to step and steep that low to use the mirror. Of course. Now, David, I, I got to ask here. We've seen the lioness, Amber O'Neill, countless others dropped by Lana Starr. Does Chrissy Bain, the, the ring veteran here, does she not understand that eventually she will be dropped by the fabulous Lana Starr, just like the rest of it? I didn't think about that, but you're exactly right, Stephen. You're exactly right. You would think somebody like Chrissy Bain would know better. We see her taking it to lioness, the much younger competitor here. They're not such a ring veteran, just like Chrissy Bain here. Chrissy Bain, years of experience, as we mentioned earlier, part of Team Blondage with Amber O'Neill, who we see on the other side of the ring there. The Lioness is down, wrist lock locked in by Chrissy Bain, the ring veteran. Amber O'Neill here. Again, the, like we talked about earlier, David, the mind games continue. Chrissy Bain and Lana Starr, you know, reigniting this whole team blondage memories in Amber O'Neill's mind. I'm disappointed in Amber O'Neill. She's let the mind games get to her. You can see her on the outside, not as enthusiastic as she should be. Lioness is almost on her own. Here's a tag. Tag to Amber O'Neill. We're going to see him lock up, are we, David? I don't know. This is like the teaser trailer for your favorite movie. I just can't wait for it to come. Well, she's stepping through the ropes. Are we going to see it? Team Blondish collides, David. Not friends anymore. No siree. What's going to happen, fans? Amber O'Neill doesn't look like she's ready to fight. She just looks disappointed. Whoa, oh, Amber O'Neill. Lana was telling Chrissy Bain, go for her, go for her. These are two former friends, and they're in the ring. These two are ready to duke it out, David. Amber will not wrestle Amber can't her do it. former friend, Amber Chrissy can't Bain. Do it. She won't do it. The mind games are getting to Amber O'Neill, David. Oh, nice toe takedown by Chrissy Bain. Lana just loved it sitting on the outside. Chrissy Bain and the fabulous Lana Starr, they've been in this wrestling game a long time, fans, and they're still driving success through mind games, techniques other than just wrestling. Absolutely. Let's not forget Lana Starr, a former world champion here in WOW, one of the longest reigning. Yes. She did it by these tactics, by implementing people around her, surrounding herself with successful people, because then she, by proxy, became successful. That's right. Lana Starr choking the lioness with the boot to the corner. And Chrissy Bain is behind her. Look at her eyes. She's just thinking about pulling the locks on the lioness and pulling on that hair. The lioness flipped over. Now Lana Starr, the aggressive one here. Lana Starr pulling up the lioness by her hair and taking her down by the locks again. The lioness is in trouble right now. And now she's back in the corner she shouldn't be in. Here we go, Chrissy Bain has the Lioness up, but Lioness reversed it into a suplex of her own. Now the Lioness has an opportunity, Steven, to tag Amber O'Neill and get her in here, which she could be in there against her former tag team partner. And here's the tag. Now here comes Amber, slowly though, slowly. Look at this, double elbow drop, hip bump. What? What's this? David, what, what is just this? happened? What Amber just O'Neill just kicked the line as her partner. No, no, no. <laughs> kidding me. What the heck just went on? You've got to be kidding me. Lana Starr's former protege, the line is taken out by another protege, Amber O'Neill. What's Amber this? Amber O'Neill. It's Team Blondage. Amber O'Neill, is she back in with Chrissy Bain? What 
Metro now. Chrissy Bain. What's going Team on? Team Blondage is back. Team Blondage is back and the fabulous lot of stars on the outside. Is she laughing or is she in gas? I don't know what's going on here. The fabulous Lana Stark. Has she just orchestrated the reunion of Team Blondage? Money can't buy anything, David, and it just bought Team Blondage. Lana Stars here no, by the no, ring. No, she just grabbed scissors. She grabbed no. the cords from our television crew. Scissors. David, she just grabbed a pair of scissors. Lana Stars going into the ring. No. Lana Star. No. She's got a pair of scissors in her hand. Somebody's got to get the scissors away from her. The officials have to get the scissors away from her. What are we witnessing here, David? Lana Stars got no. scissors. No, 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 no. They're pulling at the hair no, of the David, lioness. No, David, no. They've got the hair of the lioness. We've seen this before. They're cutting her hair. No. They're cutting the lioness's hair. No, they you've got to be kidding beautiful me. beautiful blonde locks. Chrissy Bain. Amber We've got to get somebody out here to do something. Star, the threesome. It's a conspiracy! We've got to get some order here! Somebody's got to get in the ring and stop this! They've literally cut the hair of this young woman! Fans, this is a disgrace! They've humiliated the lioness! And as we get some order in here, coming up, the main event, the world champion, the beast, defends her title against Venomous! That's next! Let's get some help in here! This is humiliation at its worst! How will the lioness recover from this? Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event. And it's for the WOW World Championship. It's main event time, David. Introducing first from the Toxic Underground. She is Venomous! Venomous coming into the WOW Arena right now. And this is the shot she's been waiting for to become the WOW World Champion. Absolutely, David. It's the land of opportunity here in WOW Women of Wrestling. This hour of power is all about destiny. And now we've got Venomous here to fulfill her destiny of becoming the WOW World Champion. And you say it's power, and you're going to see power in this main event like no other athletes in WOW's ring. Two big power persons wrestling tonight in our main event. And the biggest one, the champion, the power. Power, the phenom, the one that's taken the world of professional wrestling by storm. Never has anyone seen anyone like it since the days of China, and she's gonna be introduced right now. And her opponent, from the darkest depths of your mind, she is the current WOW World Champion, the Beast. David. She is a specimen, an exhibition. She is an absolute unreal competitor here at the WOW. Coming down the corridor of the Belasco Theater in Los Angeles, just blocks from the championship of the Los Angeles Lakers at the Staples Center comes the Beast. And she's coming into this packed arena tonight to take on Venomous. This city knows all about championships, David. The Lakers, the Dodgers, the Angels, the Clippers. Well, maybe not the Clippers. But now they've been introduced to a new champion, the Beast, the most savage competitor WoW has ever seen. The gold around her waist that everybody wants. And remember how Venomous got here. She won a disqualification when the born legend Tessa Blanchard took the quarters out like her dad, and she jammed those quarters into Venomous's head. Venomous is no longer waiting for a title shot. She's got it. Compliments possibly of Tessa Blanchard in the quarters. Now, David, she may have won it by disqualification, but let's not take anything away from the tower from the Toxic Underground. She is here to win the world title. Has anybody had a faster ascent to the top of the mountain than well, Venomous? Tessa Blanchard used the quarters, fans, because she was in trouble and she was desperate. I kept saying during the calling of that match that possibly she had to be winded from the severe travels that she takes place across the country when she wrestles coast to coast. But she had that second wind in that battle and then it was going downhill she brought out the quarters here's venomous now the result of that against the powerful beast as the two monsters lock up 
David, this is like two ships not passing in the night, but crashing in the night. Look at this, Venomous and the Beast. If either one wants to relinquish their vertical base, they're gonna, they're gonna duke it out, they're gonna slug it out, and they're gonna fight it out until one of them is laying on the ground for a three count. Oh my, the two hit again in the center of the ring. The force not knocking either one of them over. Venomous is not phased by the intensity of the world champion, the Beast. The Beast, look at that scowl on her face as she, oh! she just took Venomous off of her feet. First time ever. Nobody's ever taken Venomous off her feet, David. The Beast does it and this crowd is behind her. Look at Venomous, that just ticked her off. Beast just slides out of the ring. Showing her agility and athletic skill as the Beast and now she takes the feet out from underneath Venomous. They're on the outside. Right now, this is the danger point of the arena. You've got the steel barricades surrounding the arena. If one of them falls into it, anything can happen. David, this isn't gonna be Danielson versus McGinnis. This is not gonna be a technical catches catch can classic. This match is gonna be an all out brawl. Oh, this this is match power, is gonna Steven. be bar power. Room ugly. Power. This is gonna be bowling shoe ugly. This match is gonna be absolutely hideous, and these two are gonna show the effects of it. Look at that, look at that. Right into the metal post, David. That was bowling shoe ugly when that shoulder hit that steel post, Mr. Dickey, to steal your catchphrase. Well, that's a catchphrase from the legend Jim Ross. Well, we love him, absolutely. JR, baby, the greatest a wrestling announcer there's been, JR. Right now, the beast, the newest phenomena in professional wrestling is dominating Venomous, who's on the outside. The beast right now dominates everybody in professional wrestling. David, I know I asked earlier, have we ever seen a quicker ascent to the top than Venomous? I think the only one who compares is the beast. The beast went so quickly from a new up and coming, a rising star, all the way to becoming the champion. Nobody did it faster than the beast, and look at Venomous. Look at that, that was smart though. She came in, she broke the she count, broke the and slid count. right outside to give herself a little more air. Now Venomous, this crowd is not behind Venomous. The beast is from these mean streets of LA. She knows this is home field advantage for her. This crowd is firmly behind her. The Velasco Theater has become her home away from home, David. You're right, and Jeremy Marcus with the count. Venomous stepping up, the count being stopped. Jeremy Marcus Sinos for the match to begin again. Venomous missing a lot clothesline, and there's a big clothesline against the Beast. The Beast she wasn't her. taking off of her feet, David. No, she hit against the ropes. She could have been, though. Venomous attacking right off those ropes, and I mentioned in earlier episodes of WOW, that's when it's dangerous, when you can't get a step off of those ropes. Irish whip, Beast with a clothesline. She, she went, went up for a splash. She went for a splash, but nobody was home, Venomous. Venomous knew what was coming. Beast telegraphed it. Now Venomous, what's she gonna do here? No! Beast just oh picks my up. My goodness! The big strong Venomous and tosses the power her. of the Beast. David, we've watched the Beast for many, many matches here. I'm still impressed by the power that she exhibits on a daily Look basis. Look at this, Steven! She gonna oh, suplex? Oh, I thought she was going to. Venomous, Venomous now going in the for back. a suplex. Breaking it is the Beast. The Beast. She's got Venomous here, stretching her out. We don't see the Beast implement too many submission maneuvers, but that looks like what she's doing here. She's actually wrenching on the arms here, torquing the arms of Venomous, stretching that back out. Venomous, she can't reach. She's got to reach the ropes. What's she going to do? She's going to bite the ropes, David. She just she broke does, the ropes. But she was able to use power, leg power, to get to the ropes. David. The Beast was unable to hold her into the middle of the ring. Have we ever seen anybody she's as unorthodox the beast up. as Venomous? Beast slides off. Beast wanted to go for another suplex. Drop toe hold by Venomous. Venomous bringing some athleticism here in this match. It's a world title match. You pull out all the stops. You got that right. Oh, she went. She hesitated. Beast moves out of the way. Beast moved out of the way. She's catching her breath. Venomous is down. This is exactly where the champion wants her. The Beast has Venomous by the arm. Whips her into the turnbuckle. Beast is feeling it here. This crowd absolutely loves the Beast, and the Beast is going for a big maneuver here. You can just feel it, David. And the Beast is going for a big splash. The Beast takes Venomous. Venomous struggles, and the Beast picks her up. Samoan drop. Samoan drop. This could be it. The Beast could take it right now. Will she do it? She's going for the cover. One, two. No, she didn't hook the leg, David. She didn't hook the leg. Is the champion schedule starting to get to the beast here? Too much travel, similar to Tessa Blanchard. She's got Venomous. What is she going for here? Back suplex, David. Back suplex. What a big maneuver. 
Venom has taken off her feet again. Bee struggling to get to her feet. The Beast just putting the boots to her. Welcome to the big time, Venomous. That's what the Beast is telling her right now. Venomous rolls over, goes to the corner. The Beast follows in. And now Venomous takes the Beast, grabs the trunks, and moves her right into the top turnbuckle. And now gets up on her feet and slugs the Beast from behind. David, I got to ask, have we ever seen Beast at a size disadvantage? This is unbelievable right here. And Venomous just goes against the ropes, knees to the back. That's a lot of force coming down on your back, David. And I know from past experience, the Beast has a bad back. I'm giving away an Achilles heel, possibly. But the Beast has struggled with back issues, and Venomous possibly knows that and taking advantage of it right now in our main event today. Remember, fans, if the television time runs out, we'll bring you highlights next week on WOW. Right now, the two of the competitors are in the circle of, of wrestling, and they're coming. Oh! Blow to blow. I told you, David, it's going to be a slugfest. Look at these two. They're going at it. They're hammering away. Look at them just throwing those clubbing blows at each other. A knee right to the midsection. A beast, a beast being thrown out. Tossed beast out of the ring. Beast just got thrown out of the ring. Has anybody ever done that to the beast? I know I keep asking that, David, but we've never seen Beast go against somebody like Venomous. Here comes Venomous stepping away. Jeremy Marcus saying no, no, no. And the beast is down and Venomous is up. And what's going to happen here, fans? She went oh, for a double she axe handle, and the, the beast had a European uppercut. Yes, she did, and now the Venomous is in trouble. David, let's not Jeremy forget here. Jeremy Marcus counting. Are we going to get a count out here? The two competitors are on the outside. David, i got to bring it up. Blows. Champion's advantage here. If this match ends in the count out, Beast retains the title. Champion's advantage. Venomous has to win this match in the ring. She has to pin the Beast or make her submit. Nobody's done it. Can Venomous do it? They throw the referee to the, the side. The referee's down on the ground. The referee is down. We have no referee, and these two are just duking it out here. We've got Barton here comes, us. Here comes Jeff McGowan and the other referee. Referees, his dad scrap, he sends everybody out. Sean Guerrero with the decision is the referees are taking this up. This match has been deemed as a double disqualification. A double disqualification. Double DQ. The champion is still the beast. They're, They're still away. going at each They're other. Away. Venomous breaks away from the referees. David, David, I'm being told we're running out of TV time here. We got to go. Fans, we will see you next episode of Wild Women of Wrestling for Stephen Dickey, David McClay, Jeannie Buss, our executive producer. We'll see you on the next episode of Wild Women of Wrestling. Ladies, let's see what's in the cards for us tonight. <laughs> oh, six of pentacles.